I mean, people who are, are taking positions or people are, um, they are running our, our football where they are not supposed to be at certain places or certain positions. There are people... You mean on the pitch? No, I mean management. Management, some people are not qualified to be they where they are. They are not qualified to be where they are. I mean, even, I mean, they are not qualified to be where like they who? are. Oh, please. Do I need to mention names? You they, may have to. They are failures. They are there. And they, are, they know themselves. They know themselves because there are no results. So what do you want the FA president to do? He should change his policy? He should change his policy. We want to see what he, he can do out of, uh, I mean, the circumstance that we are now. Because our football is dying. Okay, so you're not asking and him even, to resign? Oh, I mean, if he, if he resigns and, I mean, it, it would serve good for our football or something good will come out of our football. What is wrong about But he has it? promised that a lot I is mean, going to change. He was in Kumasi the other day is, talking to that journalists. Is, that is cheap talk. Cheap, cheap talk. But what do you want him to do? Um, he because can only talk now. There's no tournament yeah, yet. Yeah, that is what you have to do. Yes. And that is not what he has to do to, because what I want you to understand is it's just cheap talk. You understand? Now you can only be promising and promising and promising and saying that. But there's no tournament. So it's not if he's not resigning, uh, he must encourage how long, the people. How long has he stayed on as the FA president? Four years, I think. Four years and more. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. And there's no result. That is so all. I think that he what, is not what? able to do the job. No, no, no. I mean, so he should leave. I mean, with his record, I would have resigned. It, it's a shame. You would have resigned. Of if course, it's a shame. He was, he was with our... He was there as the president when we went to Egypt uh, for the Afcon, and we, we hesitated. Well, we came back to learn nothing. Cameroon, we hesitated. Then we went to Qatar, the same thing. Now Cote d'Ivoire, the same thing. So what is achievement? Go back to the junior teams also. I mean, nothing good. The local blasters, they hesitated. You know, Nigeria, the same as. I mean, you can't. Do we still play under 21? Are the satellites still playing? Now I'm coming there. You understand? Where well, we've been able to win World Cup before. Yeah, yeah. Where well, we've been able to win World Cup at the under 17 stage. Mm -hmm. Now they are all not performing. So, where are the results? That is what I'm asking. What are, what are the achievements? Since he took over as every president, what has he been able to do for If I can say something Ghana? for him, the women football, we always see this uh, nice lady who is the coach and they seem to be doing well. They the seem black queens. You see, uh, the women football, yeah. when you talk of the 17, they are banned for two years. Under 17? Yes, out, out of, of age cheating. Age cheating, oh. Yes, that Under is, this category and, regime? Yes, and that is so unprofessional. To a distance of the tournament. Yes. So that's 4-4. Four, four. No, 2-2. Two, two, so 4 years. Four four years. years. So when you are seeing them, you are going to see them in 6 years' time. Ah, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah. that, that, that's, that's so bad. bad. It's a total waste of resources. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, so a whole generation is... You call, you, you, call, you call yourself, you are professionals, you are running football. But how do we do HGT? Running... We still do that. Ah, well. So it's up to them. They should come, 20, 20, they should come to answer. HGT in this era with MRI scans everywhere. You go, you pick a university student you tell us that that girl is not yet 17. Common sense will tell you, yeah. come on, you can't do that. Come you on cannot sense. do that. that and today sense. we've got people who sat there and showed to the whole country how incompetent they are. They are still there. They are still managing the affairs. I think there's a very strong point. I mean, to go on age cheating as an association, so heads must roll as Koko and Yudo who will say, exactly. this one heads must You're embarrassing the country. Exactly. And we, don't, and we have enough resources not to do a cheating. We have and, plenty of footballers. And, and, they are good. And, you don't need to cheat. Mm -hmm. We have 15 year old Ghanaian boys mm -hmm. who are playing my program. They are great. Mm -hmm. Take them to the tournament. Mm -hmm. They don't have to win the cup. We've seen that happening. We go with Brazil. We beat them. Senior stage, the same players, they beat us. Exactly. So let us start grooming them. Let them go and be in quarter final. And let them play together. Get them great clubs in Europe. By the time really? they are 21, they'll be winning. What was so criminal about that thing was the fact that. FIFA, when the ruling came that we had been banned, gave the FA an opportunity to appeal the decision. And the General Secretary, Mr. Prosperado, told the whole country that they've appealed the decision, hoping that it would get overturned. Only for FIFA to come back and tell the whole world that they never received an appeal from Ghana. That tells you that the people in there are not those who are supposed to be there. I'm dealing with some arrogant Guys, we are you just found where they are coming from. Then you come back and you lied to the whole country. Then you filed an appeal. Then you filed an appeal. Later, people say, no, nobody filed an appeal.
And I remember very well I was on the program with him where I told him that, look, you said you filed an appeal. But from what we are reading from FIFA, you did not do so. How on earth could you commit yourself to such an elementary error? And this is the general secretary of the Ghana Football Association. But what process do the players go through to be called to the national team? And don't, don't we have hospitals, 37 Kolibu? We can do our own MRI scans. That is it. And uh, know whether this player, because maybe I, you are my friend, Countryman Sungu is my friend, he's Kotoko. I say, can I have my player? Put him in. You can put him in Kotoko, but this is national team. National team. <laughs> the national team, you have to check. Okay. So I bring my player, I come to my school, Charlie, go take him to the seven and let's get the MRI. And, and everybody must demand, if I'm bringing a player, everybody's bringing a player, you have to demand the MRI. Exactly. Passport and MRI. Everything. And then we see that, oh, okay, what does MRI say? So this one is problem small, so okay, let's push him to satellite. That's, that's right. That's right. But, but you can't go on this <laughs> era and go and have <laughs> HGT And up to now, up to now, they've never seen the need to say, we are sorry. Yes. Up to now. We are defending. Like, like you rightly said, for six I'm hearing years. this for the first time. Yes, for six years. <laughs> Our under 17 girls, no football. A generation lost. A generation lost. 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 For six years. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad. That, that, that bad. one, from everything you've said, this, that should, this that one should, that should, should be very, very bad. bad. That, that, should, that clearly uh, get somebody to exit. The, the number of medical schools we have in Ghana. And uh, we could commit. We that. can go and do HGT. Oh, man. They did it. Ah, but even diagnostic centers in Ghana, there are plenty. Yeah. Yeah. In Kumasi, in Accra, mm, people well, are invested in these things. Take well, the yeah. players there, let them check. Yeah. We have enough money, fly them to Johannesburg and, and let them oh. check the MRI and let them fly them back. Mm, oh, yeah, we we, yeah. we yeah. can afford this. Yeah. Ooh. The, the this more, is, this one is not than in, uh, anybody. This in one is. And the explanation is what? Appealed. Yes. <laughs> because they knew they had no facts to appeal the decision. Yeah. They just kept quiet. Now, when they were asked, I mean, FIFA say. If you think you have a case, come and appeal. Come on, appeal. He said we've appealed. So we waited and waited and waited. Of course, as renowned sports journalists and some of us who, are, who have been in this business for a long time, we went behind their back. And then we pinned it on them. You didn't appeal the decision. Oh, there was no need to that. Come on, what are you talking about? Under 17 girls for six years, they will not be at the this one, shouldn't it be the minister taking action? Look. Yes, yes, yes. That, that is the that point. Is the point. Shouldn't this be the minister? That is the point. The minister of sports. Yes, yeah, 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 Honestly speaking, he should have been sacked. The sports minister is doing well. No, uh, in what, what way? He's not. What is he doing? Minister, you know, we've had two ministers. What, what, what is he doing? doing? No, we had two ministers under Kufa, so yes. we have to check. Yes. First and second. Time. Whether he was the minister at the time this happened. Oh, yes. You are sure about Oh, that. yes. As oh, we, yes. I went to a journalism conference next week in London. I don't know about this. And then it tells me that, ah, if I would say we haven't done HET, then I'll be looking for my phone to call Countryman Songo and ask him, uh -huh. have you done HET? Then you say yes. Yes. And I'll definitely see yes to. And the Ghana is not aware. Oh. Mm. You, you have a sports minister who, who's kept quiet about Oh, the minister should have actually made a statement in parliament. You tell Mr. Speaker that, that, that there's something that has embarrassed so the country. So the minister is part of the, the mess. football association. Even the women's ministry. There's a, there's a ministry for yes, women. Yes, the women's they ministry. Should have, should have, we, 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 we call upon them. They should have been worried about it. That this is embarrassing to the government. And the sports, the GFA people should be sanctioned. Exactly. The minister... Eh? The minister has also been one of our worst in our history. Oh, this particular minister? Oh, yes. Oh, he's, he's good. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What are you saying? You qualify as you go in this Let me ask Let me you. Tell you. Uh -huh. uh, what do you want to ask? I was going to ask some rumor about you, but you... About, about you go ahead. ahead. So they are saying that, uh -huh. Sungu, you are doing this thing because your friend is George Efrey. Oh, my oh, friend oh. is George Efrey. But and you and George have sort of. But George, George, George was the vice president to President. That's what I said. That you and him have. I'm been saying been. that we become what? Okay. So become okay in, 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 in what way? And then they also say that in addition uh -huh. to the George one, uh -huh. you're also very connected to Nanaya Ponsa. I'm a friend. Uh, yes, yeah, and so what? Because of your connection, Nanaya Ponsa has always what? held the view that this FA is bad. So I told the person that, oh. I don't know about this view that this FA is bad. It's not secret. Somebody, so you know, you tell me that somebody's taking, 
Somebody is thinking for the fireman. Somebody is thinking for me, the fireman. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. Uh, you shouldn't let me, uh, uh, you know, start off, uh, yes, with my words. No, not yet. So now you're telling me. That's the report is gone. What are you telling me? <laughs> now the rumor is huh? now the I've been in this business more than 25 years. You should know. I know that. You, you should know, know that. that. Uh -huh. I've been on and fire for fire for 15 solid years. Oh, I this see. year, That's yes, yeah. yes, I am the fireman. That you are, indeed. You understand? And, yes. and I always know where I'm. And you are in a Valentine dress. And I'm yes. You can you tomorrow you can put on your black or red. your red. Uh, yeah, to 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 work with us. I hope you understand. I and understand. I always know where I'm coming from. I I, I know my stance and I know what I'm looking for. Mm. What what I'm expecting. You got it. You are doing some a, a, a job where we are expecting results and we are not seeing it. What do we do again? What do you want us to do? Another thing that tickles many people is the allegations of corruption. Is it true? Yeah. Look, there's no reason why anybody can tell me that when we qualify for a major tournament, FIFA gives us money for preparation. For example, the immediate after. CAF, yeah, I'm coming. CAF gave us 700,000 Ghana uh, Sorry, $700,000 to prepare. Oh, what you have all, the, all the qualifying all teams. The that is why Nigeria said they have a budget of $2 million they are taking. But 700000 is what FIFA has given. So as a country, we've just added $1.3 million to add up. Okay, their budget for what they need is $2 million. Two million. 700 is coming from CAF. That's so the uh, federal government has one exactly, exactly. And the Exactly. What was our budget? $8.5 million. Dollars. How is that possible? How is Nigeria's budget too? And how is it? There you go. There you go. That is the question we are asking. And what makes it even more interesting is the fact that when you look at the breakdown of our budget, we have highlighted $1.3 million for preparation alone. Now ask myself, and the minister should know that CAF has already given us $700,000 to do so. We are playing the games just here in Cote d'Ivoire. We are camping in Kumasi. We don't need seven hundred thousand dollars to come for ten days. For ten days, you might. No, yeah, you come and say we don't. You are paying physios. Look, we don't. You are paying psychologists. Are we cannot spend seven hundred thousand dollars here. You, are you helping them to? No, I'm just trying to look no, at this. No, seven hundred thousand. Yeah, you come and say, Doctor Kwame Chey, small cent. No, even if Kwame Chey is coming at at a discounted rate. Yes. Are you not taking psychologists no. that you have to pay by hour? We didn't take one of these performances. We've never had. No, I saw the performance, so I can let's catch up. But if, had, if, if English national team is preparing for a tournament, That's they have right. psychologists that they have pay. pay. And that Keto Kriko, we've never gone to any major tournament with a psychologist. How do you know that? I'm stating it on, uh, as a matter are of fact. Are you fact. in the Black Stars team? I have, I, have a I have a player who is in there. A player but that the psychologists don't always tell the players they are psychologists. They just no. come around and talk to them. We've never had one under Keto Kriko. In all the time. Have we had one before? Yes, we used to. And the question young teacher, I remember, I've forgotten this man's name. He's a doctor, the former Kotoko uh, man who was the psychologist under Christian Yes, I think we have one. I forgot Medical his doctor. name. He, he, or a psychology he's, doctor. He's a psychologist doctor, actually. We had one before. But under the current FA president, we've never had. He's turned himself into a psychologist. Because we've seen videos of him. Motivating the players. Yes, not motivating. Addressing our players in the very unprofessional manner. Like how? Like, more or less, mm -hmm. talking at, 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 at the pitch of his voice and virtually insulting them. Look, if you think you are bigger than somebody, get out. You don't motivate players like that. You cannot do that. So some of us quickly drew his attention. Is it that we don't have a psychologist there? If we don't have one, look, against Uruguay at the World Cup, I'm telling you, we lost that match because we didn't have a psychologist in it. Because we needed the psych. If a psychology was there, we just go back to 2010, put the play before them, and use that match to work on the psyche of our players. We go out there. We beat the, the, the Uruguayans, and we are through to the next round. But it's not as simple as that. I mean, no, what the I'm quality saying, of players that played lined up in that game. Look, clearly, I, I was in South Africa. Clearly, that was one of the best quality. That's right. You had in midfield both Sule Muntari exactly. and Kevin Prince. Exactly. That, that's but something. In Qatar, then in front of them, you had a Samoa. Samoa. Stephen yeah. Apia was on the field. Yes, 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 Michael was in. No, Michael Essien didn't play. play that one. There was Kodua Samoa. And there was Andre at the time. Top four. Yes, yes, yes. And we were in Qatar. The European team 
had old brothers. When I say old brothers, you've been yeah, in the same what you mean. But, but, but the 2010 team is a very strong That's what I'm saying, that look at what they took us through. If VAR was in play at the time, we'd go to the semi-finals without that mm -hmm. Samanja penalty. Mm -hmm. So we were going to play against a country that we've got a history. Okay, so bring the history back. Bring the history back and work on the side. How do you know they didn't do that? They didn't do that because there was no psychologist in the team. We went there with Iowa. Oh, we went. And when the FA came with their uh, 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 job description for everybody, we didn't see a psychologist. What we are saying, that the time is gone. Never again should we, as a country, the government of Ghana for that matter, be taking us to an AFCON that is worth $7 million and that we should be spending $8.5 million. Never again that the government of Ghana we make all this money from web car proceedings. When the money comes, as we speak, they've given the FA close to three, four million dollars from our web cap money in Qatar. We want the government to police that money. Who has given us FIFA? Yeah, FIFA brought the money. The FA, the government of Ghana has given the FA some share of the money. I think between three to four million dollars for them to improve the development of football in this country. The government will have to police that money. Because at the end of the day, these are people who sat there and thought that management members should be given 13 billion old Ghana city for no work done. So say it in a new one. Say it in a new one. Oh. So we can relate. $100,000. Uh -huh, okay. so $100,000. $100,000 is 1.2 That is it. Yeah. So 13 billion old Ghana 13 billion old, old Ghana, Ghana city. Simple. What? That's simpler. Oh, yeah, that, that is that, that is, is easy for any anybody to normal. Understand. No, I thought it's easier for one point two million. So, no, so, thirteen million. Thirty 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 million. He was then instructed to bring back 50% of that money. For what? And he was like, Are you sure? It's okay. Give me an account that I'll deposit the money in there. So he was given an account. The money. I'm telling you that some of the management members, according to Gruza, refused to bring back their 50% 50, their 50 of the money. So Gruza later on came back and said, look, I have paid mine. If the rest have not paid, you better give me back my money. So they say he should. He, he said they say he should come for the cash. He said no. If I come for the cash and somebody you call somebody to cross me and beat me up and take up my money, no. So return the money back into the same account that transferred the money to you. And Gruza is on record to have said that tomorrow he will make that breakdown bank details available to the people of this country. Gruza is with you guys. I'm telling you. He said he supports it. He supports the demonstration. So many things have gone on. Look at what the NSA people. Are doing to our infrastructure development. That's it. That's sad. I saw yeah, the tamale the, the, completely yeah. on I saw some social media photos of the tamale peach. Yes, completely the, the, so the, the psychologist the doctor, the name is Patrick Okufemi. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So we, have, we we used to have one. Why have you cut that short? Mr. Teto Kriku, why have you done that? You say you are a, a, a football person. Do you know me? Look, the moment he got the position as FA president, me personally currently. I don't even regard him as the president of the Ghana Football Association. Because that election held in family was not an election. The matter at the time was in the court. The court has put an injunction on the process. Don't go ahead until the ruling is, is heard. He defiled, this man defiled the courts of this country. Took the election to family and virtually got himself acclimated as the president of the I don't see him as such. Because if indeed this country is a country where there's rule of law, he cannot be carrying himself about as Ghana Football Association president. He cannot. He cannot. And then, if you look at everything he's done since he took over as president. Look, I'm into juvenile football. You know my boss. Mm -hmm. He sat in this studio several times with you. The one whose team I've managed for the past 27 years. 
I'm going to Mr. Cobran Jeje Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Oh, uh, at Argentinos. Argentinos. I'm manager. Oh, you are manager. I have managed Argentinos for so long. Oh, I see. You Do they still play at Lagos, yeah. their home ground, yeah, um, and the hospital? No, we are at the bracket. That was Brighton Star. Oh, that was Brighton Star. Uh, the Argentinos. I used to go and watch them behind right. the hospital. That's right. And they all wear blue and white. Yeah, we all wear blue and white. Argentina He supports Argentina. <laughs> so, you see. And if you look at the investment that Cobran and so many other football people have, have done, football what do they get in return as a coach team i don't get anything in return so when lawrence atiziki breaks through yes he's your player yeah. that is when a developmental package from fifa comes to some of us and we invest it back into the team and the team continue somebody single-handedly have invested so much money then you come and there's money with you government money or the uh, uh, the, the taxpayers money you misuse it. You could say that when we go for the mundial, one person for ten between ten and twelve days for no work done, we're giving thirteen billion. Oh, a yeah. work that only one person. Look, if you go to Germany, Oliver Bierhoff alone, he was there for close to fourteen years. He just resigned. He was the only management member of all the German national teams. Why is it that in Ghana and the seventeen management members? 20, 23, black stars, all of them when they go, what do they do? They don't do anything. But at the end of the day, the budget is prepared in such a way that they are given a chunk of the money to spend to, for themselves, not to spend on the active about him. And what makes it even more What's the point of they being paid? Is it per diem? No, but they, they are given per diem. Hey, they, 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 they are put into hotels, <laughs> they are fed. Anyway. They are taken for shopping oh, at the end of the day. When the player is taking hundred thousand dollars as appearance fee, that is a is an issue for another day. They too are taking the same hundred thousand dollars. Appearance fee. So that's what it's called. Yes. Appearance, appearance fee. fee. That can look, these players, let me put it on record. The players are willing to play for free. I'm stating it here. This is one of the biggest platforms in Ghana. Some of us, we are so close to these players that they say, look, coach, we are ready to play for free. But those people you see surrounding us, we are ready to play based on where we get to Ghana. After all, we rewarded them when they won silver in 2015. The then president, His Excellency John Dramani Mama, gave them Cherokees. Yes. And gave them good money. He did. For losing gold. Something I disagree with. And they got silver. They got silver, but that's like not call it losing gold. But yes. No, no. They, they lost gold, actually. <laughs> it's the trophy we won, isn't it? Yeah. We won trophy. So if you are, if you are, if you are rewarding yeah, somebody losing for, for losing gold, you are giving him Chiroki, you are giving him uh, money. And in the, in the tournament, they have already been given appearance fee, qualification bonus at every stage. Then you come and give them Chiroki for losing gold. That is unacceptable. You understand? So we've done so many things wrong as a country. We are saying never again. We cannot continue along this tangent. So why is our football going down? Let me come to country. What is the real? Is it that players are not good? You are, you are talking about FA, which people have heard. We understand that. This, this in the final stages of the conversation. Is it that our players are not good? No, there's no is mission. it that the coach was not good? Listen, there's something I've put down here. Let me put it right here. A vision is attained by the work and strategy. There's no vision. Oh, there's no vision from our football. So leadership, leadership. Poor. Yeah, yeah. Very so well. nothing to do with the players. They're not bad. You see, so far, all the strategies and works have produced negative and retrogressive results. But let me ask you something. You something very practical. I sat at the, and, at the, at the I sat at the Hofe Boigny Stadium when Mohamed Kudu scored the goal against uh, who was it Mozambique? Was it Mozambique? Is it? Which one was the Egypt? Egypt, yes, it was Egypt. Egypt. correct, correct. Yeah. It was Egypt, great. And I saw in that case, <laughs> give a horrendous pass. Is that Keto Kriki? Ah, what did he say? Yes, you used to answer that. Let's understand. What, 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 That's what, what people will be asking you. If they saw the game, manage the, manage the football and let us get results and stop. I mean, no, but you say that the about... FA is not good. Um, and no, we're no, talking no. about you, the tournament. You can't go, you can't go to look that at what happened there. No, that, that is not what you... You, you can't go to that extent. Even... Let's, let's look at how 
players are selected to the national team. Yeah, you can look at that. They are not based on merit. So even let me ask you. You think you think Inagi is our best player? No, I don't think so. Ah, so then why are you saying this to me? Okay, so you can answer the question by saying that the players they selected onto the field were not. That is what I'm back to saying that they are they are certain players who are there not based on merit. I'm not saying Inagi is not a good player. But you are playing okay, so you are saying that at a position where he's not supposed comes to be. Outside result, Unak is a striker. Yes, um, um, yes, but yeah, on that day he that, played the that is, that that field. You also. are you think he's a striker? I don't see him as a striker. What is he? What, how do you see him? I mean, he plays as a winger and he cuts in. He, he, is he, that what he does for his club? Yes. Oh, he's a winger. Yeah. Oh man. Like Mohamed Salah. Exactly. But oh, he's man. always coming down. He's man. always coming down. Oh, he's not an arrowhead. Yeah. No, he's oh, no. never been. Oh, well, we have always played him as that an arrowhead. That is what you want to do by force. No, I mean, since uh, 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 the German no, 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 since no, no, World Cup. Otoado. Otoado. We've been playing in Aki as an arrowhead. When when you have football people influencing selection of blasters, now you go to the field and things are not working well. You tell me to you know only fire the players and fire the coach. We've been doing that for the past years, and oh, what I has been happening? I'm now, what's so so surprising to me? I didn't know Naki was a was a winger. Ah. See, and we have a again, ah. again. Look at one thing that is happening. We have an FA president who's got a huge conflict of interest in this thing. He alone, he has six football teams at every level. Whenever any of our national teams are called up, maybe I, I'm not supposed to be doing it, but I will entreat you if you can. Do a research on the players that are called up at every level. 17, 20, 23, then okay. the No, I'm talking about men. You realize that. He alone, Keto Kreku alone, and every ESCO member. So their players are in there. They are not the best players. I'm not saying they yeah, are but their players. players are in there. Their players, it, it is dominated by their players. Whether they are good or not. That is the fact. That is the a problem. Whether they are good no, or not. Good. You made the point. Slide Tata was an FA member. Yeah, yeah. The players were playing. They are good. They were 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 great. They were hard. So there's no problem with that. That is it. Don't put a good player in. That is what we heard. But then you have to say something for Kusinia. He didn't never put wild stars. Why are you considering the JB time? Because I want to make that point for him. What is it? No, I want to make that point for him. That he never. And I made this point on this program when we were playing the African Cup of Nations. He never put one. Yes, they have two players. Okay, let him respond. Okay. It's not about he had two players. Yeah. They were playing for his team. That's yes. right. You yes. understand? And at that particular they were time, good. They were good. Yeah. But at that point, let me talk. Because he me knowing him, he will not add his voice or interrupt uh, or interfere in Blaster's selection. Correct. Me knowing him, I don't yeah. see him yeah. interfering yeah. or maybe, I mean, he would ask you to pick this player or pick this player. Do you think that's for him now? His action is to get the money to push the team to, that's, win, that's to win. That's, that's is true. what that's I true. know about him. Yeah. He only has his problem with whatever about financial, or, I mean, letting things be transparent when it comes to financial or money. Mm -hmm. That's all what I... But you think his objective was always to push the team to win? Yes. So you are not an every president that you are there to be an agent person where you are always imposing players uh, for coaches. I mean, that is, is that what's right. happening now. That is what is happening. He's on record. Keto Kriko is on record. He had an interview with um, 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 um oh my brother at Joy from I forgot him. Nat. No, not Nat. Um, the one who Sent just you. no the one who just won the best Gary. 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 Yeah. The man is on record to have said even if he's incapacitated, on the day when the final Black Stars list will be released, all national level, if he cannot be there, you get somebody who he trusts. Go and sit in that meeting, and if he disagrees with the Tekken captain, that player will not find his place in the national. He's on record to have said that. He has never taken that back, and that was a mistake. And sport, I wash my hands. He's still influencing because when the call ups are made, you see players belonging to his team dominating the call ups of our national team. They are not the best, and players. they are not the best players. He used our national team. To market Philemon Bafo and sold him and put the money in his pocket. Philemon Bafo will complain that he had given he had given close to 12, 13 blast stars call ups. Even in friendly games, they were not allowed him to play. He was just using the platform to market his player. By the time we realized he sold the player, who got the money? He did. He did. But if he sold him, then the player is good. No, but you can he, he, use your own platform then. Don't because of your position. But I didn't Ghana benefit from Philemon Bafo. We didn't. 
Let me right. tell you why. Where, where, where when we it? went to the Afcon, uh -huh. he was Cote d'Ivoire. Afcon. No, the the, the one that mm. got booted up by uh, Omaros. By exactly. When we went to that tournament, and the Yadom who was at right back, Philemon Bafo, who we were told is the specialist at right back, and the Yadom got injured. You could clearly see him telling the coach that I cannot run. I am not fit. Take me off. The only possible solution to that problem was to introduce. Milovan turned this film and Yeah, film on Bafo. Milovan turned and looked at Bafo. And when he was asked, he said he doesn't think the body is up to the standard. Who took him there? Milo. Definitely took him. Who asked you to? Who asked him? Well, Milo said right. he will not substitute him. He was, so, because he doesn't think he was up to the standard. He played through the injury. Oh, I see. I'm telling you this for a fact. He played through the injury and then we got booted out in the tournament. So we didn't feel Philemon Bafo. We did never. So why do you say he used our platform to sell him? Where well, did they see him? Is it when players are being bought? The fact that he's in the national the team, profile. the profile alone adds to the value of the player. And that is what this man said to Kriku, the ESCO people, that is what they've been doing with our national team. If the late Ikea Frani, the late uh, 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 um, 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 Samadi, the late Ben Kofi, if that had been their way of doing things, the Ben Kofi five-year development plan wouldn't have on earth Michael Lesia, Suleiman Tariq, John Pencil, John Mensah, Ajahn, name them. We wouldn't be where we are today. So all that we are saying is that going forward, never again. And for me, I want to believe that the best way forward is for the government of Ghana to go back to the way it used to be. Football people should not be given the opportunity to vote who should. For the same comment that comes with Yes, about. football people should the not. The president should select one. Should select two, three people, let them vote. So the president select, the government selection becomes the president. Then Gaka brings the two, three yeah, as yeah, vices. Yeah, so because at be. the end of the day. That's how Kusina Antichi became vice president. Exactly. Level. At the end of the day, the amount of money, government is developing infrastructure, not the FA. The money government spends, the FA now and then goes to the government to invest in football. You put the taxpayers' money into something. And that something. way, the FA president has a check. The exactly. president is his boss. He's his boss. You can change him. You can change yeah. him if, he, if he's yeah, yeah, that, that Take works. him out. That works. Take him out. And the president's ultimate obligation is that the team should win. Exactly. Otherwise, his vote is at stake. It's at stake. Yeah. You can yeah. take 120 people. Mm. You get about 80, 75, 80 of them, manipulate them. You sit there for as long as you can and misbehave. You understand? Can't you have the last word? Right, right after the exit mm -hmm. from this Afghan tournament, mm. all what they were thinking about is to have a coach. Yes, that, they published that. You, and, um, and you think yeah. that was fair to them? I think it wasn't fair. You should have Every, yeah. right, right from Ivory Coast. Mm -hmm. Before getting or meet the stakeholders, meet the journalists. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. You know, you, after, George, George, before you behind closed before doors, you meet all the key listen, football people. Before you meet the journalists, and the you, key you have people. to meet the president first. Yeah, you have to go to him. You Let's go, go to the Jubilee House. But maybe you've done that. How do you uh, go? Oh, what? Playing body, everybody. Go there. Uh, why are you? No, I'm just saying. You go there to explain to the president. Yes, you understand. Even your technical report. What went wrong? You make it available to the president. Was the president who caused the taxpayers' yes. money to be given? Yes, to yes. That's you important. understand. But rather, these are things they should know. But rather, you set up a committee in search for coach. What are you talking about? You are only thinking about your cash, how you can make money, sitting allowances, and those things. What is the meaning of all this? Things are not working well for our football. We are down now. Ghana, we are we we are step back. Ma, let me see, is it shark or a big step back? You know, our four oh, times in, in African is now being threatened by many, many oh, countries. If yes. Nigeria had won, it's they would have been four. four. Put the boys on three. 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 So another two tournaments, yeah. our four is useless. When we had four titles, they had everybody has zero. They had none. Yeah. 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 When we had four, Egypt had three. They had eight or seven. Seven. They have seven now. Seven. Seven. They have seven now. Yeah. Cameroon has overtaken us too. They have five. Hey. Yeah, they are just, they are just, they, they were just in hurry, just to, you know, put all, shift all the blame to the coach, so they can have their way. That is all they are thinking about. You understand? And things are not getting right. That is why we are embarking on this demonstration. It will be successful tomorrow. We'll be there. Just one minute. Yes. That if indeed you are a Ghanaian. Yes. Every yeah, text message is ready. Yeah, we'll take. Every Ghanaian loves football. Mm -hmm. We love our sport. Mm. Please, never again. Come to Obra Sports tomorrow morning.
By 6.37, we are gathered. There are people coming from Kumasi, from Takrade, people coming from the eastern region. We are going to do this not only here in Accra. After Accra, we are taken into a circle. We will Oh, I see. Yes, the petition is being done in such a way that there are timelines. We want to see proper planning and implementation of strategies that will change the face of our football. We are not going to lie low. We will insist. We will persist. Because I pay tax. You pay tax. We all pay tax. Come with one voice. We will change Ghana for you. And mm, if you come there, you join us to protest. It's a professional, peaceful one. Don't come there with a different motive. It Don't won't dare. work for you. Don't dare. We are, not, we are not stupid and we are not foolish people that will organize a demonstration and will leave ourselves just like that. Me, don't go, no way. You got it. Mm -hmm. As much as we have the police, the security is very tight. It's going to be very tight. Private ones, you understand? Even, even the soldiers who will not be in their uniform. You got it. We have personal, you know, security guards. Some of us, we are very tough. We are tougher than what they are thinking about doing tomorrow. We want to cause problems by, uh, uh, you know, asking people to join the demonstration and create problems. But what I want to tell them, or want to tell them is that we are on top of issues. Wow, we are on top of issues. Yes, if if if, if, if you dare, you'll be arrested, and you'll be prosecuted. 